Hi, it's Andrew here from mycampertrailer.com.au and I'm here with Jason from Aussie Jay's uh, Camper Trailers uh, in Victoria, Melbourne. And uh, he's going to run us through the Big Red. Big Red, yes. Excellent. All right, cool. So um, tell us a little bit about the Big Red, Jason. Okay. Well, the Big Red's our most popular model. 95% um, of the trailers we sell are the Big Red. Uh, value for money, it pretty much has everything. It's a full, full off-road version. Um, so start from the front here yeah definitely just tell us some of the features we've got going on okay so with the big red you've got a choice of mechanical disc brakes or electric brakes um, depending on what you have uh, with the mechanical brakes you have the four bolt poly hitch yep. so poly hitch is great for four wheel driving good turning cycle smooth driving um, you, you don't get the clanging of the ball like a 50 mil ball hitch um, so this is a four bolt for the mechanical brakes. Electric brakes has a weld on tight and with the hand brake behind it. Cool, no problem. Um, from there, they're all double chains with the hook on the side just to hang your chains on. So when you're pulling around. Yep. Um, so that's that. We've got the eight inch jockey wheel. So we use the Huntsman jockey wheel, which is one of the strongest ones on the market in the eight inch. You can upgrade if you like to a 10 inch pneumatic, um, but that's just personal preference really. So, cool. Um, so wiring for the lights. Uh, this one has a flat plug. This customer's uh, obviously got a flat plug on their car, so but we, we use all types of different plugs. Yep. So what, whatever you need, we can uh, accommodate that. Excellent. So from there, we had the front stone guard. Yep. Which with our front stone guards, we actually weld them on. Where a lot of companies actually use saddles um, down the bottom here to hold them on, we actually fully weld ours for a few reasons, corrugated roads, uh, rough terrain, they can actually vibrate themselves loose. Not only that, but nine times out of 10 when you push your trailer, customers always tend to grab here and push. So yeah. the stronger this is, the better it is. Oh, excellent. Um, from there, we've got the spare wheels, spare upright wheel, wheel sorry. Cool. Um, all our wheels are brand new, brand new tires as well. Excellent. Um, so with the big red, you've got a choice of 15 inch wheels, yep. 235, 75 tires, or 16 inch wheels uh, with the 245, 70 tires. Um, and you also got a choice of white or black wheels as well. Nice. So, Does that customised look for? Yeah, so, but the black are the most popular. <laughs> Um, Excellent. From there we've got the aluminium slope toolbox. Yep. Uh, this toolbox is removable. It has six nut inserts into the actual A-frame itself. Um, so you can remove it. Some customers like to remove the toolbox and put a motorbike ramp there if, if they're going out bush and they want to take their motorbikes. Um, and there's enough distance there to put a standard motorbike in there. Can we open her up? Yep. Excellent. Cool. So this customer's already got their stuff in there, but um, with the toolbox, uh, the Big Red comes with a, a battery box, yep. an Anderson lead, yep. and this, nine times out of ten, we actually fit it in inside the toolbox unless the customer re requires it somewhere else. Um, the Anderson lead actually runs through the A-frame, cool. comes down to the front. Let's have a look. And it's a 50 mil, 50, uh, 50 amp plug. Yep. So what this does is once your car's wired up, plug this in, once you drop your battery into the actual battery box, your car's charging that battery while you're driving. So when you pull up to a campsite, you've got full batteries. Some people choose to have dual battery setups, so it will do that as well, charge both of those batteries. So. Excellent. Cool. So I see um, this particular one's got really nice uh, seals on it and it's got some um, gas struts as well. Yeah, so the box comes standard with the gas struts, the reinforcement in the actual uh, bowl, and it's got the, the pinch mold on the top, so yeah. And the, the locks are adjustable, so if anything, sinks and settles, um, they're totally adjustable. So. Awesome. Cool. So tell us a little bit about the structure of this particular, um, uh, your trailer anyway. It's got a nice big long draw bar on it. Yes. So with the big red, the, the draw bar is 1900 mil long. Yep. Uh, from the front of the trailer to the to the pin. We tend not to go any longer than 2100 in the draw bar. Um, there's a few reasons for that. A lot of companies offer really long draw bars, but unfortunately, at the same time, they also push the axle back towards the back of the trailer. Um, and in turn, what they're actually doing is making more room behind the toolbox, etc., for lots of jerry cans. Yep. Um, but the problem is, is that all that weight is starting to transfer that onto onto your ball off the, off the car. Yeah. So. With these, they're very well balanced out. The ball weight is only about 40 kilos with the big red. Cool. 
Excellent. So the, the actual A-frame itself is 100 by 50 RHS yep. or Australian blue steel and it's 3mm thick. Nice. Cool. Alright, well let's keep moving around. We've got full width gussets here. Yes, full width gussets. Um, and it all sits on a 50 by 50 by 3 RHS frame. Nice. Um, once again, all Australian blue steel. And yeah, it's all fully welded underneath. Also, the gussets are fully welded. They're actually, there's three lots of welds. There's welds on the outside, yep. the inside, and then the inside of the trailer as well. Uh, that's, that's good quality. So, sealing purposes, uh, some companies like to stitch weld, but unfortunately when you're driving in the wet, you can tend to get a bit of rain pushing in and stuff like that. Yep. Um, river crossings and stuff like that, where, where everything's fully sealed, you're not going to get any water in. So, that's the purpose of that. So the side steps, uh, full side steps once again, yep. come right out to the guards. So there's there's no room for error where you can pinch the guard and bend the guards. Um, where we originally had sort of smaller side steps. So that's something that we've upgraded as time's gone on. Excellent. Uh, jerry can holders. Now the big uh, the big red comes with two jerry can holders yep. and two gas bottle holders standard. The gas bottles actually hold four kilos or 4.5. They're totally adjustable. Nice. And these are made by ARC. So we, we use the best the best quality ones that we can get. So, um, so yeah, these are totally adjustable by winding them in and out, depending yep. on your bottle Great. and what your requirements are. So Fantastic. Awesome. So, um, We've got uh, yeah, we've got a nice little yeah. hand pump here. Yes, the outside water tap. Yep. So this can um, you, you can turn this in obviously when you're driving, so uh, you're not catching on anything. Yep. So it's all hand pump. We keep them quite simple. We don't actually do a, a lot of electrical work, um, just because it's easier this way. You don't have any problems. And if customers want to upgrade that stuff later on, they can do it to their own to their own sort of requirements. Yep. Um, people have different budgets when it comes to that sort of thing, and you can waste a lot of money on the electronic side of things, um, and you know it may be something that you don't need anyway. Yep. So from there, we've got the lockable uh, jerry can holder. Yep. Uh, sorry, lockable filler, yep. uh, which is customers obviously locked, so that's why it's spinning <laughs> and I can't unlock it. So No um, problem. And so that yeah. must connect through to a uh, water tank underneath? Yes. It connects to an 85 litre water tank made by RB Poly. Nice. So it, it's baffled. Uh, it's a drinkable tank. Uh, that's one thing with our water tanks. They are drinkable. Um, where a lot of companies use the 60, 60 litre or 59 litre black tanks. Yep. Now with those, they don't actually advise you that you, you can't drink out of them. Yep. Um, but it's sort of like drinking out of a new hose with that new plastic yep. taste. You can put tablets in it but you'll still get that taste. So that's the reason why we've upgraded the Big Red standard with the 85 um, litre tank. So yeah. Cool, well let's, let's have a look inside. Okay. Um, like underneath anyway. Yeah. So it has two lockdown latches, which are totally adjustable. Yep. So if your sponge actually settles, you know, you can adjust those to lock down. Perfect. The gas struts we use are a thousand Newton meters and they're Australian made as well, made by Struts Australia. Excellent. Um, and as you can see, it takes the weight. It um, just opens mostly. itself. Yes. Beautiful. So they're designed that way so it can hold the weight. These are also, the reason why they are so strong is if one does start to leak, which is very unlikely, but if it does, for safety issues, the other one will still hold the weight and it'll only slowly come down um, instead of it dropping down. Unfortunately, a lot of imported stuff has cheap struts yep. that actually come halfway and then what happens is when you pull this down, it'll get to about here and it will just drop straight down. But the, the worst part is is that you have to actually lift all that weight to that point before the struts take off again. So What's where the these point? come down quite nicely yeah. and settle. So nice. So that's the idea. What's the point of having struts if they don't work? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so um, I can see it's really nicely welded. Yes, it's all fully welded inside. Um, to be honest, when we first started, we, we we did what most companies do and was stitch weld and then actually stick a flex in between um, the stitches. Yep. But just over experience and uh, and camping myself, I just found that a lot of people use the, the pull-out tubs that you roll in and out. Yep. Um, and then what happens, they tend to sort of pinch the, the sticker flex after a while and pull, pull it out. So we decided, once again, just another upgrade to fully weld inside um, as well as it's welded outside. So yeah, so there's no sealing in that sense uh, with any sticker flex or silicons or anything like that. So yeah. Nice. So uh, I also noticed that I think this would pop up underneath as well. Yes, that's right. You can turn 
two access doors that are that are under the tent. So when the tent's set up, you can actually get inside um, your trailer and still still access your your, your um, bags and luggage and all that sort of stuff. Um, these can actually be gas strutted yep. as an optional extra, um, which is quite handy as well. The way we do them, we double strut them yep. and we, we join these two panels together so it actually lifts up all in one hit. So, Great. Yeah. Cool. And I, um, I noticed you've got some um, sealing all the way around. Yes, it's, it's fully sealed right around. We are we are in the process of just negotiating with a different rubber that we, we're actually looking at, which is a hollow rubber. Yep. Um, so that will be a be even a better sealing. Um, method again and instead of actually putting the rubber here yep. the rubber will actually be on the frame of the of the tent um, as you can see here um, this has only been used three or four times but when you pull your luggage out you have a tendency to sort of drag drag your luggage over which can rip it yep. um, and then it obviously affects your seal so yeah so that's something that we're upgrading at the moment and that will be in the process probably in the next couple of weeks great so. Cool, well I see there's a nice drift of t uh, kitchen in this particular one. Yes, yes. We'll, get, we'll get around to that when we open up the tailgate at the back. Okay. So let's, um, is there anything else you want to share from the inside or are no, we all pretty good? That's about it really. Awesome, alright we'll drop it down. Cool, so um, let's come around the back yes. and check out the back. Okay. So on the back we've got the full gussets, yep. once again, um, right out to the edge of the frame. Yep. We've got LED lights. Now this is a push and play system yep. made by LED. These lights come with a lifetime guarantee. Yep. Um, so the beauty with the push and play is that if you break a light you can actually just replace it. And it's just a push just, in and off you go. Excellent. So yeah, so it takes a lot of hassles. Cool. And um, alright, cool, while we're down here yes. we might as well have a look at these corner steadies. Yes. Okay, so these aren't stabilizers, these are actually proper stabilizer legs. Um, with these, they're made by Alco, which yep. are you know, the biggest trail supplier in Australia. Great products, um, a lot of research goes into them. So these, you just pull the handle and you drop them down. Um, when you're setting the tent up, you can actually set them up on an angle like that. Comes with a wind down handle, yep. and these wind down. So, but the beauty with these is, if you have a flat tire, instead of carrying a, a, another bottle jack, you can actually set them straight down, and yep. wind the trailer right off the ground and change your tyre. Oh wow. So, and they, they set up at all different angles both ways. So, Fantastic. Yeah, so they're very very handy in the yeah, air. Yeah. Um, and spare parts and stuff like that through our code, no problems to get hold of. So, yeah. Excellent. Alright, and while we're down here we might as well um, yeah, have a look at the... Um... The recovery point? Yep. Okay, so this is a Heyman Reese style recovery point. So you can fit your bike rack off there. Yep. Um, we've even had people that have used motorbike racks on the backs. Um, this is whatever really you can fit on the back of your car. Yep. You can fit on here, and it's also a good recovery point if you get bogged, as this is welded back to two parts of the chassis. Wicked. All right, and um, I noticed uh, we've got some decent, um, we decent tailgate hinges. Yes. hinges. Yep. Yes, so they're fully fully welded hinges, uh, both inside and outside. Um, forty by forty angle, and obviously the two mil pressed. Okay, so yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's probably open her up now and have a look. Okay. So this one has the Drifter kitchen, which is our most popular kitchen. Yep. With the big red, you get a choice of the Drifter uh, kitchen, which is a DSO. Yep. Um, we do ours with the three doors instead of the one door standard. Um, or you can have an extra stainless steel kitchen. But um, we're finding that the Drifter kitchens are the most popular out of all of them. So no problem. So just to give you a rundown on this. Yeah. Give us show us show okay. us the Drifter. So the drifter this is it. It takes a little bit to set up, yep. but once that's done, the beauty with these is that it's got a lot of extra space compared to the, the stainless steel ones that are on here. Yep. So as you can see, you've got two bench spaces there. Yep. But the beauty with this is that you can actually leave your cooker set up, as this customer has done. Yep. Where most of the stainless steel ones, because they have the flat top, yep. you actually have to remove your cooker all the time. Yep, yep. Um, and then as you can see, we do ours with the three drawers. Yep. Drifter normally do the DSO standard with one drawer, yep. but we just like to fill it up. It makes it quite nice. Yeah, you've got heaps of space. Yeah, definitely. And especially the bottom one, it's a nice deep drawer. So, yeah. um, and it's got its basic 
basic washing up with the tap, hand tap. No problem. So the, the way this works is that we have a hose that just plugs straight in yep. and actually plugs down into this brass fitting there and yep. straight into your water tank. Excellent. So one feature that with the drifters is very, um, is a really good um, point is underneath here, it actually has nylon blocks. Yep. So those nylon blocks, when, when you close the kitchen, the actual kitchen sits on the floor of the trailer. Oh, nice. So it's not freestanding, so it's not putting it, it's taking all the weight off the actual kitchen and your tailgate as well. So another added bonus with the drifter. Great, great Aussie product made by Luke and the boys up there in, um, in New South Wales. So yeah. Fantastic. So we'll just have a check. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see much in there, but yep, there's the back. That's yep. what you'll see when you open up the uh, the tailgate. Yes, that's right. Gra grab out of there. And one thing with our tailgates too is that we don't actually pin them down at a 90 degree angle. Yep. So one, one thing that a lot of people don't think about is when they're cooking, um, because your anus is set up here, if you're cooking sausages and fatty stuff, you don't really want that fatty smoke to go into your canvas. Yep. So the way we make our tailgates, you can actually swing right open. So for example, if we were cooking sausages today and we wanted to swing the tailgate right open, we can swing it out here. Nice. And then set up. Set up. Perfect. So yeah. Excellent. So just little things like that. That makes a difference. We've got some welding going on in the background as well. So um, apologies for the noise. Alright, cool. Let's um let's keep going going around. Okay. Oh, and sorry, I should explain the T-lock as well on the back here, which is totally lockable, so you can lock the whole thing up. Excellent. And it just holds in like that. No problem. Okay, so you've got obviously another jerry can holder here. Yep. Uh, sorry, gas bottle holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they normally have a jerry can at the front here, but th these people have opted for the $100 upgrade of the toolbox. Yep. Which is great for when, when you actually go out and, you know, wherever you're camping, just to lock up your valuables and stuff like that, but still get access to it inside the tent, so. Cool. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, cool. So I think the only things that we haven't covered yes. are really um, uh, the running gear and stuff, which yep. is underneath the uh, trailer. So I'm just gonna duck down under there now and check it out. So, tell us a little bit about what we've got under here. Okay, so you've got a full, full box section um, chassis, as you can see. Yep. Um, with a big red, we have seven leaf eye to eye springs. Yep. We don't use rebound springs. Um, the, the springs that we use are actually rated at 1.8 tonnes. Um, with the big red, you've got a choice of mechanical disc brakes, which is what, what's on this model here, yep. or the Alco drum electric brakes. So uh, about 90% of the ones that we do are actually mechanical brakes because they're, they're maintenance free, they're, they're easy to use, you don't have to have your car wired up for a controller. Yep. Um, and also in river crossings or yep. muddy conditions, the disc brakes tend to work a lot better than what uh, the, the electric drums do. Um, it's sort of like driving on old Holden with the <laughs> drum brakes. You, you don't know if the brakes are actually working or not. Where um, some of my background is boat building as well, so um, most boat trailers are built like this, and so that's where we, we took that idea from. So yeah. Awesome. And so the axle we've got here is a. It's a 45 by 45. Yep. Um, so solid axle. Um, yeah. So it's all Alco running gear as well. So yes. Nice. All right. Well, I think we'll get off the ground now. And okay. <laughs> have a good squeeze at the trailer but um, I think we've covered pretty much everything is there anything else that we um, we should we, we should cover um, maybe just the cover the covers with these are quite big um, de designed that way so if you are doing doing um, night by night trips especially yep. if you're traveling around Australia the covers nice and big and it's got plenty of room in it when this pulls right up um, so you can put plenty of uh, luggage and stuff, but you also can leave all your bedding pre-set up. Oh, excellent. So there's no need to strip down the bed every time that you move on. So, and with, with this cover also, it's zipped and Velcro right around. Excellent. And also has the tie down strap, so just to give that extra taunt so it doesn't blow up too much in the wind. And it's nice, a 400 gram uh, material, so it's nice and strong. So. Thank you so much, uh, Jason. That's been a really good um, run through about the Big Red uh, trailer. So um, I hope everybody's enjoyed this, and I think I'll sign off here. But I'll, I'd like, just like to thank you again, Jason. And um, yeah, so 
This has been Andrew from mycampertrailer.com.au and uh, I've been here with Jason and the big red uh, camper trailer from Aussie Jays. See you next time.